So we're here in Park Slope in Brooklyn, and this is the cheese store we're going to. Grab. <laughs> oh, just not say anything with that name. <laughs> so here's the beautiful cheese. Here's Annie. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Here's the beautiful cheese. Here's one another one of the cheese mongers. Hi there. Hello. Hey, what's your name? My name is Laura. Welcome and to Grab. Grab. Well, tell us a little about your store. Um, well, we've been here almost three years now, and um, we have a delicious uh, uh, selection of craft beer, as you can see here. Ooh. Growlers. I don't know if you have those in Boston. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, cheese and meats and chocolates and coffee and all kinds of fabulousness. A lot of it which is local. We cool. Like to support our local food. Which, oh, that's good. It's one of those slow, slow food people. Oh, yes. We try. We try. Um, so and yeah. uh, what's your favorite cheese that you have here? That's a tough one. I don't think I can really pick just one, but I would have, like, right at this moment, it's uh, the Cowgirl Creamery, the Red Hawk. Oh, that's cool. Triple cream, wash rind, don't see them every day, and fantastic. So. Cool. We'll have to get some of that. have a little taste. Oh, we will get a little of that. Yeah, we actually have had some Cowgirl Creamery stuff a friend of mine brought from, they have a store in D.C.? Uh, yes, yes. So, oh, nice. So I've had a little bit from them before. So. Lucky you. Lucky, very lucky me. <laughs> well, cool. Thanks well, so much. I hope you enjoy your stay in Brooklyn. Thank you. Right. Hi. 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 Welcome to an episode of The Cheese Freak. We're here in lovely Park Slope, Brooklyn, with my good friends Amy and... Who's that dude? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and Sean. Um, one of their lovely children right here. Family. <laughs> So we're gonna bust through some of this cheese. This is some stanky cheese today. <laughs> what did you say? Smell at my house. Put what stinks in here. <laughs> exactly. So we're gonna start with this youngest one. We went to a store called what's it called? Grab. Grab. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> um, uh, here at Park Slope, and she recommended her favorite cheese in the store. It is called the Red Hawk from the Calvo Cream. We always smell cheese first. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> What do you smell? <laughs> Stinky gem socks. <laughs> okay, well, we're not going to be eating that rind. So this is a washed rind cheese, uh, which typically means that it's just like washed in a wine or something. This is really young. So it's going to be very... Just stick it in. No crackers for this one? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. These stinky ones are never as strong as you think they're going to be. Cracker. Nice like crackers are like wafer thin. <laughs> this is a messy, messy cheese. You can go ahead and knock it back. Alright, I'll knock it back. <laughs> this is a very hard cheese to cut. <laughs> I'm having trouble cutting the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrilegious. <laughs> Sacrilegious. <laughs> I have that on the blog. <laughs> it's the very first post on the blog was it's going to be sacrilegious. Mm. <laughs> and it was. I thought you'd have the 64 slices of American cheese. I couldn't find it. Mm. No, I, I approve that. It's good. Yeah. That's a good cheese. I definitely like it better with on the cracker. I just couldn't eat it by itself. Yeah, the I mean, it's actually a good party cheese if it didn't wasn't so quite so stanky. Yeah, no one would want to clear it. Exactly. Right. When it's time for everyone to go home. I got to break this with my hand. So this is a this was the oldest cheese they had in the store. This is a Montgomery cheddar. And do you remember the name of the farm? They said. No. I'll look right. it up. It's from England. <laughs> and how old is the cheese? Pretty old. I think they said three years. Cow's milk. That is good. A little crystalline thing that's salt crystals that form in the cheese every time. I know it's true, I read it at the star. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Did that one smell? That we didn't smell that one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Although I think the uh, the smell of the other one's on your fingers. It is, I think. Sorry. <laughs> I think the smell of the other one killed my uh, sense of smell, so. Or these crackers are like, never too. 
she's uh, stuck all over me. It's everywhere! <laughs> the Red Hawk is everywhere! I like that one, too. I was good with the cracker. Yeah, I like that, too. Oh, Emily's singing. So this is a... Rogue River Blue. This one, the best blue cheese in the world in 2004. In the whole world? In the whole world. Oh, and it looks like it's wrapped in some kind of sycamore leaf or something. I don't know. So. Mm. It does Yeah, it doesn't smell like, like grossly blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes blue can be a little overpowering. I think Grab took in the right direction. Yeah. Ladies first. <laughs> good. It's very bluey. Wow. Yeah. But it's good. Super creamy. Let's say. Mm -hmm. It is creamy. Yeah, I expected it to be harder, crumblier, like blue cheese. <laughs> like blue cheese. <laughs> you know, like blue like cheese. Like blue cheese that I've had. <laughs> That's not this. <laughs> Cheese dressing. <laughs> it tastes just like blue cheese. <laughs> it's tasty. That's good. Well, something you could just actually eat. It's not like such a strong blue that you're like, ew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes me want to drink wine, man. It does. You should be having wine. You should. That's Since you're breast feeding. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Have some nap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the ranking time. Uh, Sean, you want to go first? Which ones did you like? Just in order. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go with blue. I like blue. And then what? Uh, the cheddar. And then the stinkster was And the stinkster. <laughs> the stinkster was good, but you know, you gotta, you gotta really work past the smell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd say for me, I mean, I did like them all, but I'm a person who likes to just like kind of sit there and snack on it. Yeah, and yeah. the cheddar's probably the easiest one to eat like that. Yeah. So in that respect, and it's a super good cheddar. It's, yeah, it's probably my favorite. And then the blue, and then the stinky. <laughs> See, I actually like the stinks for best. I think its flavor is really amazing. It's just a pain in the ass to eat, but it is really, really, really good. Yeah. Eating with a spoon. And then, uh, yeah, you need to just sit there. Actually, he was trying to, when we were in the store, he was actually trying to let us taste test it with a spoon. Yeah. I should have had one. Um, I do like it, but. Yeah, and then it's better than you think it's going to be. And then I like the chocolate. I love blue cheese, and this is, a, this is the world's best blue cheese, but it's not my favorite on the plate. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks, <laughs> Wait, bye. Bye. <laughs>